This is the 100 mile real world mile per gallon test. And this week we have the 2025, yes, 2025 Ford Explorer ST. Now we're gonna run this test. We're gonna go to the gas station, get filled up. Before we do that, I'm gonna show you a little bit about this car and then we'll get going. So you can see they gave this a bigger grill here in the front. This is a special grill for the STs also. The LED lights are different. They got lower air curtains down here and just makes this car look beefy, stout, and pretty awesome. Now you come back through here, the rest of this is pretty much the same as the 2023 or, or previous versions. And then you come around to the back and they did redesign the tailgate and the rear lights. So we're going to take a look at the cargo space. You got a decent amount of room back behind the seats. I like how these seats are sitting a little bit lower. So when you lower them, then you have more of a flat surface going across here. Underneath here, there is a small amount of room that you can access. So we put these seats down, you pull these handles that actually drop these headrests. So I'll do that real quick for you. So that just drops those down. And, but you do have powered rear seats in here. So we're gonna drop the left one and then we'll drop the right one all right so they are both going down now look how much room you have back here if you don't need that third row massive amount of room okay and then we'll just hold it down and they will come back up that is awesome love seeing powered third row and power second row is actually pretty cool also well, there you go i'm around here take a look at this second row you can see how much space there is it's just massive in here and you slide those seats forward and backward to give the third row a little bit more room and then we'll take a look at the newly designed interior in the front here for you you get a better look here You've got this tray down here underneath that is new it's got your wireless charging pad on it and there you go it is pretty nice now the st does only get this black interior with the red striping you also see ford performance right down there you can hear that ford chime steering wheel with the st badge in it red stitching all of these seats are red stitching this is this is leather on the outside and this is a miko suede through the middle of it you can see st in the seat also all right yeah this thing is awesome it feels good bang and olufsen sound system sounds awesome there's a little bit about the new explorer if you want to see everything about this new explorer watch the full review that's up on the channel right now and it will be linked at the end of the video but let's get to the gas station let's get this thing filled up and let's get this test started rained a little bit earlier winds picking up a little bit so i will give you those that information on that stuff during the drive we're here at the gas station we are going to get filled up now there's no required um, premium for this vehicle, so we will be putting in 87 octane just like normal. Okay, here we go. 87. Okay, there you have it, we are full. Just put in just under three gallons. They delivered these cars to us with a full tank, so it didn't cost much. We only drove it for about a day, but that's it. Let's get everything reset and we'll get our test started. Okay, so we're gonna go up to, there's trip one and trip two. We are going to use trip two. So we're gonna hold to reset that. Okay. That's reset. I'm just gonna go down and reset this also. All right, so both of those are set. So we've got our mileage, we got our mile per gallon. Uh, and then if you look down here in the corner, it says 448 miles to empty. So it's pretty good, about 450 miles out of a, uh, out of a 16 gallon tank. 
All right, we're gonna be on our way to our first town and I'm gonna give you parameters of the test that we run. And before we come into town, I will give you an update on where we're at. All right, the parameters for the test are pretty simple. There's gonna be three things that we're going to set up on the car before we run the test. And well, we don't really set it up. It's really just kind of how things are. So first thing is, is that we run this in normal mode. We don't put it in eco mode or sport mode or anything like that because we're not trying to minimize or maximize the mileage here. We're just trying to give you what you could expect every day if you just get in your vehicle and go and drive. All right, so then the next thing we're going to do is the climate inside will be set between 68 and 72. Today is gonna be set on 70. It's gonna be around 75 or so outside, and we got about an eight mile an hour wind. We had some rain earlier. It's possible we could get some more rain later on. The other thing that we do is we drive these tests at five miles per hour over the speed limit because that is the average that most people drive over the speed limit. So we're gonna be at 60 on the highway, uh, 75 on the interstate, and between 35 and 50 in town. Okay, so those are those three settings. The rest of this is pretty simple also. So we drive 100 miles, we'll drive 50 miles in one direction, we'll turn around and drive 50 miles in the exact opposite direction. During those drives, we're gonna, have, we're gonna go through two towns in the first part and two towns on the second part. We're gonna do loops through both of those towns. So we hit stop signs, stop lights, and some traffic, get a little more real world mix in there. And then we're gonna get up on the interstate and we'll drive about 10 to 12 miles on the interstate that'll and then we will turn around and that should be about our 50 mile marker we'll turn around we'll come back the exact way that we drove come back to the gas station we will fill up we will top off and then we'll get out the calculator and we'll calculate the mile per gallon so that's going to give us our real world mile per gallon and that's pretty much it <laughs> All right, we're coming up on our first town here in just a minute or two, so I'm gonna give you an update on where we're at. We're entering our first town, and so far, we have driven 4.1 miles and 19 miles per gallon. So I did forget to mention earlier that we are supposed to average 20 miles per gallon. Um, I will have the window sticker up on the video earlier just so you guys could see that. Uh, but it's supposed to be 18 in the city and 25 on the highway for an average of 20. So 20 is the number we are shooting for today. All right, we're gonna make a loop through this town and I will update you as we leave town and head back out onto the highway. All right, we're back out onto the highway now. And so far we are at 7.9 miles and 18.7 miles per gallon. So yeah, we're basically right where we should be, I think. So um, I think we're gonna probably end up around 21, 22 uh, before this test is all over with. But that's all we've got for that so we're going to be driving to our next town and on the way to that next town i am going to give you guys some more information about this 2025 explorer xt you saw the updates to the exterior of the explorer and i showed you a little bit going around the inside and it not a huge difference between the 23 and 24. They did make a few little adjustments in here. Uh, one of the things they talked about was that they pushed the dash back a little bit more. So it gave you a little bit more room in here in the cabin. And then this little tray that I pointed out that's underneath the infotainment screen, that's new with the wireless phone charger in it. That's really nice. I do like that being there. You could, I mean, I don't use a wireless phone charger. I don't think a lot of people use them, uh, but at least it's there and you can always stick something else in there if you need to. Now, a couple other things that they did was they got rid of all of the trim lines and simplified them into four. So now you have the active, which is the base. You have the ST line, which is looks like an ST, but it has the 2.3 liter four cylinder turbo engine instead of the twin turbo V6 that the 3.0 liter that this one has. Um, then you have the platinum, 
which you can choose between the four cylinder engine or this uh, six cylinder turbo engine. And then you have this ST. So this one is kind of sitting more at the top of the line now. I mean, rightfully so. It is one of the nicest one. It is pretty much fully loaded and it is the coolest looking one. <laughs> so what we have here is the 3.0 liter twin turbo V6. And it's gonna put out 400 horsepower with 415 pound-feet of torque. You get a rear-wheel drive come standard on the STs, but you can option for the all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. You have a 10-speed automatic transmission. You get zero to 60 in 5.2 seconds, which is pretty good for this size of a vehicle. Your towing is still at 5,000 pounds, uh, just like it has always been and fuel economy which i kind of touched on a little bit earlier and you probably saw the window sticker at the beginning of the video 18 in the city 25 on the highway and an average of 20 miles per gallon to so 20 is what we are shooting for today i really like this black interior with the red stitching um i believe that's the only way that you can get this so you've got a um, like leather on here, you got leather on the sides of the seats, you've got suede going down through the center of the seats, which is really nice, especially in the winter. It's really gonna keep these seats warm. Ride comfort in here is excellent. So it just does feel like it's a little bit lower to the ground, so you got a little bit better center of gravity in this one. And I can take corners. <laughs> pretty good in this one you can you can really um, add some speed to your corners when you're driving this and um, the bumps and stuff like that this eats it up really well you really smooth ride 90 percent of the time and even the little sharp bumps um, it does it absorbs it really well and you keep a nice smooth ride this one is optioned with blue cruise and if you have the blue cruise turned on so you can actually use that. Now it only works on the interstate, on pre-mapped interstate roads. It doesn't work um, on your regular highways. So the blue cruise part of hands-free driving doesn't work on the highways. On the highway part, you will have lane centering, but there's one downfall. When you have blue cruise turned on, you have to have that turned on to do lane centering, even on the highway. And when you do that, it turns on the eye tracker. And then if you're not paying attention or you're looking at your stereo or you're trying to change something or do something else that you're trying to do, even though you are being attentive of where you are at, it will start beeping at you and tell you to watch the road. And yeah, you should watch the road, but you also have to change stuff on the infotainment screen because that's where they put the stuff and you have to look where you're pointing and then it goes off on you. But if you have that turned off and you actually drive your vehicle, you can still have lane keep assist on, so it'll keep you from go wandering outside of your lane. You can shut the eye tracker off. You can shut the driver attention off, so then you don't have to worry about it yelling at you for not paying attention when you don't need it to be yelling at you to not to pay attention. So uh, that is one plus. I really do like that Ford did that. I still think it needs to have the option or it should shut off whenever you go back to lane centering on the highway and you have to have your hands on the wheel they should shut the eye tracker off or have the option to shut it off so i that is something that i really wish ford would do it would make things a lot better for most people like i mentioned they did minimize the trim level so the base model now is going to be called your active and it is going to start at $39,755. So under $40,000 and you get the 2025 Ford Explorer. Um, there are a lot of new standard features and I believe including front powered seats on both sides and front heated seats, I believe. Those are two things that I think I remember reading. Uh, There's a lot of other stuff along with that and that will all be in the full review. So make sure that you don't miss that. So the next one would be the ST line um, and then you'd have your platinum and then this ST. So this ST starts at $54,160. 
and that's a pretty good price really for the the way this machine is and what it's set up for so this one that i'm driving right now with all the options that they added and the destination fee it comes in at sixty one thousand two hundred and ninety dollars sixty two thousand dollars might be pushing it for um most people uh, but you know like i said it starts at 54 so you don't have to add the options that they added on to this one so i think the blue cruise i think may have been added on a few other things like that so um, just stay in your budget but if you have the means go full out get this thing and make it awesome okay we have entered our second town so i'm going to give you guys an update where we're at right now we've entered our second town so 29.2 miles and 23.9 miles per gallon so doing well uh we're not quite the highway but we are supposed to average around 20 so we're quite a bit higher than what we were supposed to average we're going to make a loop through this town and after the loop, I will give you an update where we're at before we get up on the interstate. All right, we're getting ready to get up on the interstate. So far, 35.8 miles and 22 miles per gallon. All right, let's get up on the interstate. Let me get to the top here. I'm going to give it a good acceleration. Maybe you guys can hear the engine. Uh, Probably not so much the exhaust, but maybe hear some engine noise. This thing does sound pretty good for a V6 or for a, you know, a six cylinder. It sounds pretty good. We got three, two, one. Here we go. Woo! Woo! This thing picks up. <laughs> yeah. All right. We are at 75 <laughs> and locked in. Wow, that was quick. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, so 36.6 miles, 21.4 miles per gallon. So we're gonna travel about uh, 10 to 12 miles here and we'll get to our turnaround point, which should be right close to 50 miles. Might be just slightly under or slightly over, just depends on the vehicle sometimes. Anyway, I will update you when we get to the turnaround point. All right, guys, I'm going to give you a Blue Cruise demonstration here. So right now we are driving with Blue Cruise on. You can see I don't have my hands on the steering wheel. We've got Blue Cruise up here, hands-free on the screen. And now it's telling me to watch the road. You can see the eye tracker is right here. What I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna get up here and I am going to, let's try doing it from this angle, pull this back. All right, now we're going to go up here and I'm gonna change lanes and you're gonna watch this change lanes by itself, okay? So we're coming up here, we're past this semi that's next to us. Everything is good right now. So I'm gonna just turn on, I don't flip it all the way, just part of the way, and there it goes. It moves it over and right into the next lane, and there you can see we've changed lanes. It's pretty awesome, pretty cool, I actually like that. All right, one more time I'm gonna switch lanes, show you how to do this. You just push it down so you get the three little flash thing it checks to see and there you can see we're going right into the other lane and it did it all by itself i'm not touching anything <laughs> okay there you guys go it'll lane change and everything all by itself i missed recording the turnaround over the interstate overpass so we are actually turned around and we're going back the other direction towards the town we just left and so far we are at 51.6 miles and 21.2 miles per gallon. There was a little commotion with a ambulance and things like that. And I actually, I think I just forgot to hit the record button. So, um, so I kind of missed that part of it. But anyway, that's where we're at. When we get ready to get off the interstate, go back into town, I will update you again. Okay, we're getting ready to get off of the interstate. 
So far, we are at 63.1 miles and 21.9 miles per gallon. So we are almost two miles per gallon above what the EPA rated as the average. So we're gonna be heading into town now and we're gonna make a loop through this town just like we did earlier, but we'll just do it in reverse order. And as we get ready to exit town, then I will update you again where we're at before we get out onto the highway. Okay, we've left town after making that loop. We're at back out onto the highway. So you can see we are at 71.1 miles and 21.7 miles per gallon. So there's a good chance we're gonna settle in right around 21 to 22 on the rest of this trip, but we're headed to our next town and I will update you again when we get there. So we're entering town now and so far we are at 92 miles and 22.7 miles per gallon. Okay, so we're gonna make a loop through this town and after we make that loop, I will update you guys where we're at and then we'll be headed back to the gas station. We made our loop through town. We are back out on the highway headed to the gas station. So our numbers on the way back are 95.8 miles and 22.5 miles per gallon. Okay, so we do have just a slight wind kind of pushing us just a little bit. So we might end up with 22.6 or 22.7, uh, but I will give you the final numbers when we get to the gas station. Okay, we are back at the gas station and final numbers 100 miles and 22.6 miles per gallon let's get this thing filled up and run some calculations okay for the second time during this test somehow i know i hit the record button and i know i was talking outside and everything but all of a sudden the sun's in the lot in my eyes and i couldn't tell that you know whether it was running or not so um we actually filled up receipts right here and the result was 4.41 gallons is what we put back in i'll show you that receipt right now 4.41 gallons is what we put in and that's what we're going to be doing our calculations off of let's go ahead and run our test we were about 2.6 miles per gallon above what the epa says and that's what the truck says so right now we're going to do the calculations calculator so we have 100 miles divided by our receipt 4.41 4.41 4 equals <laughs> how about that 22.6 exactly what the car says so kudos to ford they programmed it exactly what it should be so that's my props there to ford way to go and they usually are pretty close ford does a real good job of that so the 2025 ford explorer st 100 mile real world mile per gallon average is 22.6 and that's your final numbers okay if you didn't subscribe could you go down there and subscribe so you don't miss any more of these tests like this then click on the video that's on the screen the one i put up there is the review of this explorer st the other one youtube chose for you thought you might like it i think you're going to enjoy them both you guys have a blessed day and i'll see you in that next video